Hello everybody and welcome to another intriguing episode of A Mother's Burden. Today is February 14. Yay! Well, I know a lot of people will be excited and you know, it's um, according to the calendar of men, it's the world acclaimed Valentine's Day. I was actually going to do a topic today, you know, from our last discussion. I said we will be talking about how to appropriately dress our children without, you know, um, without putting them at risk, you know, without um, abusing their integrity or personality. But I will put that on a pause until next time. Today I want to talk about Valentine. I want to talk about love. I know we are mothers, I mean we are wives, mothers, and you know workers. We are so so busy, you know, which was the reason for a mother's burden anyway. However, in the midst of our being very, very busy, I want us to take time out and to love ourselves. Remember in previous episodes, we had talked about loving ourselves. We talked about the value of love and the importance of loving ourselves. And today is one of those days. It's, hey, you show love to yourself every day. But some people take this day, um, you know, to be... Um, to some, it's a very special day. So if you're one of those people, I want you to take a breather. I want you to look inward and show yourself the love you've always professed to love yourself. I, after dropping off the children at school and at daycare, I was driving back home and I was thinking in my heart, like, okay, what am I going to do today? What am I going to talk about? And then I was listening to the radio station and... Um, you know, we're talking, they were talking about, you know, what keeps you going as a married woman and as a single person. And I thought, hmm, that's an interesting topic. Why don't I talk about something that has to do with love? So today I am talking about loving yourselves again. I, I looked at myself in the mirror this morning and I said, you know what? You are a beautiful woman and I love you. You know, I love me and sincerely, I love me. I don't wait for my husband to tell me I love you. I love me. Me, Omolola, I love myself, you know. So I just want to employ all mothers, all wives, every woman out there, whether married or single, go out and love yourself. Give yourself a date. Buy yourself a gift. I know we do that often as women, right? We buy ourselves gifts, not even gifts. We just, you know, sometimes some of us, we, <laughs> we buy on impulse. You know, so go out there and love yourself. Go out there and shout it to the world that, hey, I love myself. Um, I was, you know, thinking about so many stuff. Um, recently, um, we did a premiere of a movie, Breaking Point. It's a Christian movie. And, um, you know, it, it's, um, it, the movie was, was really a good movie and it really talked to a lot of people. It will talk to you as a married woman or a single woman. It will talk to you as a mother, you know. And then I sat and I thought, like, hey, the best gift I can give, I, I mean, the best gift I can give myself is to love myself. We can never stop loving ourselves, you know. And I've said it before, you cannot give what you don't have. If you don't love yourself, you cannot give love. If you don't appreciate yourself, you cannot appreciate someone else. If you appreciate someone else, you're just doing it on the face value. Because how can you give what you don't have? And you know what? I have a father that gave me the most. I have a father that loved me so much that even before I was thought of, he sent his son to come to this world and died for me. I serve a God that is love impersonified. If a man could give his life for his friend, how much love do you want that man to show? If God could give his son for me, just to show me how much he loves me, come on. If I say I do not love myself, I'm doing myself a disservice. Yes. And I'm not giving glory to God because I am created in his image. So I need to love myself. I really need to love myself as a woman, as a wife, as a mother, whether single or married, whether, whether um, 
teenager or youth, please don't be carried away by the lie of, um, you know, a guy has to show me love. No. You see, when I was much, much younger, when I was really, really younger, I have always been disappointed on Valentine's Day. I'm coming out clean now. I have always been, because I have always put my expectation on a man loving me, giving me gifts, you know. And if he doesn't call, if he doesn't come, if I don't see him, that means he doesn't love me. And when all of my friends are saying, oh, I got this for Valentine's Day, I got this on Valentine's Day for Valentine's gift, I got this, I got that. And I am like, okay, I didn't get anything, not even a phone call, you know. And I'm putting pressure on myself and on whoever it was. But hey, that is so not life. I learned eventually when I became so serious with my lover, and that is my creator. When I became so serious and started developing an intimate relationship with him. I don't need a man to tell me he loves me. You don't need a woman as a man to tell you he loves you. Look, your husband might be so busy that he even forgets to tell you, I love you, honey, or you're beautiful. But if you believe you have a father up there that loves you, that created you, the Bible says we are wonderfully and beautifully made. I don't need a man to tell me that I'm beautiful. I don't need a man to tell me he loves me. Because what other love, what other way do I want him to show me that he loves me? God showed us how much he loves us. He kept us to be alive till now. He gave us his only begotten son to make it easy for us to have a relationship with him. Aside from that, you know, he, he gave us everything we needed in life. I mean, I'm just busting with joy right now because I have the greatest lover in the world as my lover. I don't need to wait until it's Valentine's Day before he tells me he loves me or gives me a special gift. Every day he gives me a gift. Every day is a gift. I cannot overemphasize this. Love yourself, women. Love yourself, men. Don't wait for your wife or your mother or, I mean, or, your, or, or your husband to tell you I love you. No. Love yourself. You know what? I told myself I'm going to take myself out on a date, I, I, which I do anyway. I take myself out on dates. You know, give yourself a gift. Like someone said, you don't have to wait for someone to say, Happy Valentine's Day, honey, I love you. Mm -mm. You are your Valentine. You are the best gift you can ever give to yourself. And I remember then when I was single before I met my husband, I always say something. That any man out there that feels that he or that changes his mind about marrying me when I was single is not worth me because I am much more than that man. I'm not being proud. And honestly, I am worth much more than any man out there. I love myself. I cherish myself. I appreciate myself. Every time I finish dressing up, oh my goodness, I, you know, pep myself up. Like, you know what? You are beautiful. And I always say, God, I thank you for making me this beautiful. I thank you for my eyelashes. I thank you for my eyebrow. I thank you for my nose, my lips, my ears. I thank you for every part of my body. Because the Bible says I am wonderfully and beautifully made. Hey, we are not common. I am just me. I'm not common. I'm the only one that is me on earth. Any other me is fake. I know that of a truth. And so I'm flaunting it. I'm showing it out there. I know so many women will be heartbroken. So many single sisters will be heartbroken. Hey, look, pick up whatever pieces of your life. Go out there and have fun. Every day, love yourself. Every day enjoy life. There is much more to life than feeling depressed, than thinking you must have a relationship. No, you don't have to be in a relationship to be loved. The best relationship you can be in is the relationship you have with Christ and yourself. 
That is the best relationship you can ever think of being in. So ladies, go out there, love yourself, buy yourself a gift if you have to. If today means so much more to you, buy yourself a gift, take yourself out for dinner or a movie date or, you know, go do, do something exciting with yourself. Don't sit around and wait for someone to say happy Valentine's or for someone to say, um, um, I sent you a Valentine gift or I love you on Valentine. No. Tell yourself, I love you. I told myself this morning, I said, Omolola, I love you. I love you so much. I can't do without you. And that's the truth. I can't do without me. I love myself. I am so excited when I talk about loving myself that sometimes I think my husband is jealous. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. But really, I love myself. I enjoy life. There are days, yeah, there are low days, but hey, I snap out of it and I move on because I love myself and I want to be loved and I want to love someone. If I don't love myself, it will be difficult for me to love someone. So for me to be able to love someone, for me to be able to show love, I have to love myself. And you know what the Bible says? The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not die but have everlasting life and the bible also says what love can a man show to his friend for laying down his life he laid down his life for us which other way do you want us to show that he loves us and which other way do you want to show yourself that you love yourself you you just have to hey spread your wings and fly so real high and let the word see it in you let the word know that you're soaring let the word know that you love yourself i i don't know i'm so excited <laughs> like i said whenever i talk about loving myself honestly i am always very excited i mean very excited because i love me i hug myself every time i give myself kisses mm. you know just hey flaunt it love yourself go out there and have fun if you want to you can hang out with girlfriends you can hang out with your children or you know even if you don't have children if you're single hang out with your girlfriends or hang out alone take yourself to go see a movie buy yourself something new you know do your hair do your nails you know go out and flaunt it god gave you that beauty don't keep it to yourself love yourself love yourself but remember dress appropriately loving yourself does not mean showing off your integrity it doesn't mean showing off your decency dress yourself appropriately and let the world see your beauty and let them see the love of god in you until I see you sometimes when we will be talking about dressing those precious gifts that came from God. Keep loving yourself. Enjoy the day. And stay in Christ. Bye.